Well, it's a sweltering hot day here down here at South Morton Boxing Club, which means I've got the gym to myself for a few minutes. So I just wanted to talk about a project that we've got coming up, the Cornerman. Um, and uh, before you think, well, this is not really relevant to me, I think this project could be interesting to a lot of boxing gyms. It's about putting the boxing gym at the heart of the local community. Um, that's what we're trying to do. So if you would give me a couple of moments, I'll just explain to you what the Cornerman is about, why we're doing it, and how maybe you could help. So basically, to cut a long story short, um, we've been here for 16 years. We have all types of people through the door uh, from all walks of life, all ages, all fitness levels and recently since lockdown I've noticed that a lot more people have been coming through and you know coming through saying they're suffering with more anxiety more depression more mental health problems um, particularly men and obviously 70% of our, our clientele is men um, and I just kind of wanted to do something about that you know I was looking at some figures um, you know the 6,000 men in the UK that take their total 6,000 people that take their lives every year three quarters of men the leading cause of death for men under 50 is suicide um, and so I got together with a guy in the gym called Steve James now Steve James is a support worker does some amazing work with a big charity in Oxford called a big homeless charity charity in Oxford called Emmaus. And we sat down and thought, well, what could we do? And then we came up with the idea of the Cornerman. The idea of the Cornerman is that we'll launch a project here based in the gym um, with professional support workers. We'll get clients referred to us or people can self-refer and we will then send a support worker out to pick them up in our London taxi, bring them to the gym where they can engage in some form of exercise, you know, maybe a bit of pads, maybe a bit of bag work uh, with a trained support worker. We're also in a nice environment here. You can just go for a walk. We've got hairdressers out the back. Well, one of our trained support workers is a hairdresser. Um, you, can, you can go and get your hair cut there. So in other words, you can just do something uh, while talking to your trained support worker. We've also talked to the head of NHS Suicide Prevention, the Samaritans and various other agencies to see where our plan kind of fits in or where our service would fit in and we've had very positive responses from that so we really want to launch the service and we think it can make a difference where we are probably where you are as well is growing rapidly um, and support services aren't really there to, to to cater for the growing population and particularly in light of the lockdown and everything else um, you know I think there's going to be a bit of a train wreck coming so we wanted to do something preemptive about that. So that's the idea is that we have professional support workers here. Um, we have professional support service able to utilize the gym and utilize the facilities at the gym. Now, what we've thought as well is, while this might sound like a great idea, we've had a lot of endorsements, um, you know, it's very well going around with lots of people who would fund this with a bit of paper saying this is a great idea. They want to know how it works. So what we've decided to do is fundraise ourselves. So we've gone on to just giving and we're asking to raise 15,000 pounds. We're trying to do that in the next 30 days to initially launch the service. That will pay for us to buy the taxi to pick people up. It will pay for Steve James, the chief support worker, to work here two days a week um, on a salary, and then he can coordinate our multi-agency approach and bring in other volunteers and many other people. There's lots of information about this service that we're launching and the appeal we're launching. And so far, we launched it two days ago. We've raised 20% of, uh, of our total already. Um, so we're really hoping it'll be a success. We can have a big launch party on the 15th of July, and then we can start the tournament and start providing a service. Once we've got that working service, funded by the local community, we can then go out you know, to, to funding bodies and say, look, we have a working model. This is the difference we're making. These are the people we're helping. This is our waiting list. And if you could just fund us, you know, we can scale up our operations. So that's the, the Cornerman. Go to thecornerman.org. Um, have a look, loads more information on there. Be wonderful if you could get involved. Any support, you know, if you could share on your social media, share the website on your social media, share this video on your social media, that would be so much appreciated. If you can donate a pound or anything else, it would be so much appreciated. You know, I really think we can do something here. We can put the boxing gym really at the heart of the local community. We can make a difference. Uh, you know, we can help people and we can we can show people, um, you know, the therapeutic benefits of boxing training, of training in general, you know, the health and mental health benefits. And I think it's going to be a really strong argument and a positive case for boxing. So any way you can help is much appreciated. But first, let me say thank you very much for listening. I've taken up four minutes of your time. I won't take up any more. But if you can look at thecornerman.org, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you.